Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, Blue Nose Trading. My name is Tori Salis and today I'm going to be doing a series review for this collection of mugs and cups that I've been working on. This collection is themed, basic, is inspired by the waterfronts, so oceans, lakes, rivers, anywhere where you go just to get up at the waterfront. I used a combination of different glazes and slip work to get the effects that I wanted for this series. I tested a lot of different glazes to kind of see what I could develop out of this and I came up with some pretty awesome results. So let's all zoom in and we'll talk more about each of these. First here we have just the speckled clay body with the floating chrome over the top. All of these have cream breaking rust on the inside. The ones that are made with the speckled clay body have speckles obviously and then <laughs> So this is the floating chrome. Uh, I've been working on figuring out the secret to these glazes and it seems like it's just applying it really thickly causes it to like drip a little and get a nice effect. So these are all sanded anywhere that they're raw so that they're smooth. They're not sanded to where they're, you know, as smooth as the gloss, but they are soft. They're not gritty or nasty. So this next one is a combination of floating copper and floating chrome on the speckled clay body. another rendition of that. Soft. This was patina green. It was kind of just an experiment. I wouldn't want to swim in this water. This was the first one that kind of inspired me to pursue this a little farther because making this one it looked like the ocean just a little bit so I had to pursue it deeper. But this one I tried just floating copper applied thickly. It didn't get quite what I wanted. I also tried just doing some uh, Val's turquoise. It's nice and just not exactly, it's not as dynamic as the other one. The Carmen's turquoise, I felt this was one of the best combinations because it just came out really nice and smooth and has a really dynamic kind of crystalline end. And this one was more like the Pacific Ocean or a nice deep lake. Lots of variation in the slip work here. This is one of my favorites as far as the looking like a Caribbean beach front. And this one came out kind of weird. <clears throat> Not exactly what I was trying to do, but there's a beach in Hawaii that has red sand and it looks a lot like that beach. <clears throat> this one's without the speckles and that's it's got its own thing going on but I think that I personally like the speckles in the sand. With this one I tried stony matte turquoise and I think it was just a little bit darker than I wanted. The Carmen's kind of gave me more of an effect that I was looking for with this project. And this is that variegated blue slate looking like the Pacific Ocean. Came out real nice. I like it when my variegated blue slate behaves itself. And then I got creative and I started doing some some slip painting with these. So these are painted with like slip and then they've got the river which is chrome and copper mixed together in various thicknesses. These are beautiful. Well except this one. I was trying to experiment with like a red, like those red rock kind of river Grand Canyon kind of feels where the river is muddy, like the Mississippi almost, and it didn't give me quite the effect I was looking for here. We did some river fronts with flowers. I love these. This glaze came out great. More flowers. Oops. Here. I have a few of these available on my website. Well, I did when I made these. If you're on my Patreon, you'll get early access to everything, so you're seeing this when it's available and you can get these from me. Uh, if you're not on my Patreon, these might all be gone by the time this video comes out, so if you want early access to all my content and first dibs on my ceramics, consider joining my Patreon. It's patreon.com slash trading. In any event, I will be selling these at my markets this April, and I foresee myself making more. These are going to stick around for a while. These are 
really special. So these are going to be sticking around with me for a while. This particular one reminds me of like a tropical jungle, rainforest somewhere. Loving these. And this one's kind of like a desert. This was an experimentation with that darker brown too. Came out better than the other one. Flowers and mugs. So, if you like the way these turned out, guys, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you'd like to see a weekly art video, you should subscribe to my channel, Blue Nose Trading. There's a new video every Friday at 5.30, and I post a short video of a pot up close every day. Thank you so much for tuning in this week, guys. Remember that you are super important, and go hug your friends, drink lots of water, and I will see you guys next week. Thank you.